Hello everyone and welcome back to another Train Sim World 2 video. We're about to be swarmed with AI so that is going to ruin the view of the train. Thanks everyone, why can't you go the other way? Uh, but we're in the M3 as they are back in business. I believe the M3s are now back. Come on people, what, what's going on? Come on, let's stairs the, go the other way. Uh, I've got to probably move. There you go, now we get that view of the train, which still looks good. But yeah, the M3s are back in business on the Long Island Railroad. And from what I've seen, the M9s or something haven't been delivered fast enough or something like that. So, as obviously, you know, post-pandemic, well, fingers crossed, um, obviously people are going back to using the trains and stuff. Obviously, they haven't been able to keep up with demand. So, without all of the M9s, they've had to bring in the M3s again, uh, which went out of service pandemic so uh it, they're back the m3s are back in business i don't know why we've got a three minute wait here that's slightly peculiar um let's get all of this set up in our little closet and quite literally just is a closet <laughs> in here it's quite a claustrophobic cab uh that's, that's everything isn't it yeah well yeah here we are the m3 it's not bad, is it? It's, it's a nice train. And this comes um, as separate DLC for Long Island Railroad, unfortunately. I really do hope one day it's packaged in with Long Island Railroad. Because on the Harlem line, you get the M3A and the M7A. So, I really do hope one day these sort of merge together and this comes in as part of the base, you know, what you get in Long Island Railroad. Very nice interior. Pretty much exactly how it was when these trains first came about in the 80s. And I don't think it's changed since. It's literally just stayed exactly the same. Unlike the M3A on Harlem, Metro North, uh, which looks a bit different now. I see, if you're sitting there, you know, you've got to have bloody. I mean, how on earth are you supposed to sit there? You have to either sort of sit cross legged, which would be very uncomfortable. Especially if you've got someone next to you. Or sort of leaning across. So I don't know, but yeah. So it'll be very hard to sit there. I mean, I suppose if you're a child, you could probably sit there. Let's get that open as well. Actually, no, let's not open that. We don't want anyone going out the window. We have got another minute or so. So what I'm going to do is I am going to save you guys waiting as well. I'm just going to simply do this. There we go. Save you guys waiting. It's about 20 seconds now until we are due out of New York Penn. And as we are Port Washington service, we just go to Woodside, which is about sort of nine, ten minutes from uh, New York Penn. So, uh, let's keep the doors shut now. Uh, I am forgetting to do things here. How on earth could I forget to do that? And then you've got to charge the brakes on this. Charge brakes, charge brakes, there we go, and off we go. It's fairly simple to set up. I think the only thing that sort of throws people off is probably charging the brakes. Which even I forget to do sometimes. And off we go. Leaving the basement. It's just, it's a grim station, New York Penn. It's such a grim station. I really don't like New York Penn Station. Does anyone actually like it? It's just such a sort of. I mean, especially if you sort of. If you just look up New York Penn Original Station, it looks so good. It was probably one of the. You know, uh, in line with Grand Central. So, sort of, sort of how good it looked. When they ripped it all down, it was such a nice building. Uh, but yeah, I think they ripped it down in the 60s or 70s. I mean, if it was still about now, it would probably have some sort of this. You know, I don't know what the equivalent is in the US, but some sort of listed status to it such a nice looking building they ripped it down and that's horrible it's not a nice station cool get that up It's all underground, concrete just everywhere. Very bland as well. 
I mean, what, what does it look above? Sort of, once you go up those stairs, sort of the concourse area, does it look any better? Have we got any New Yorkers in here or any holiday makers who have been to, um, in, been to New York? Maybe even passed through this. And off we go. But anyway, back to the M3s. Yeah, they're back in service. I think there's only a couple of them back in service, but still. It's, uh, well, it's, it's nice to see an old train back in service. Even though I've never been on M3, never been to New York, never been to the US. Yeah, it's nice to see an old train, old 80s train, coming back into service. And still runs perfectly fine. A bit like the, um, the Class 455s. Taken out of service, even though they were still running almost perfectly fine. Um, and yeah, gone. So yes, what they could have actually probably done with the 455s is probably move the 455s down to the coastway and then replace the 3 on 3s with the 455s as they're like 10 years newer. Would that have worked? I think that, yeah, the Department for Transport were like, no, you need to get rid of the 455s, they need to go. So yeah. That probably actually could have worked, couldn't it? Yeah, a 455 on uh, on the coastway. Most of today's video is from inside this tunnel, so enjoy. Uh, where this is the East River Tunnel. I don't know if this one is as, as crumbly as the Hudson River Tunnel. Um, yeah, it's, it's uh, a long tunnel. So we think this was actually built like in the 1900s. Like how on earth did they uh, just? I mean, this would have probably been hand, you know, pickaxe, shovel, would have been done by that. It amazes me how they how they did it. You know, no sort of you know magic technology. It looks through and see what rocks are there and where the water is. They simply yeah, just got the pickaxe, start mining, and hope for the best. Obviously, they were had to smooth it out. It just, yeah, it really baffles me how they managed to build all these tunnels and stuff with literally ha their hands. It does amaze me. Right, come on. What time? What time service was it? it? Was a morning one, I think. Or was it a morning one? I can't remember now. No, it could be an afternoon one. Or is it? No, I think it is a morning one. Yeah, it's a morning one. Out we go into the open. And from here, it ain't too far now to um, Port Washington. Cool. Which Port Washington, from here, is probably about a mile or so. Maybe, no, probably two. Mile or two from here. Right, I can't remember if it comes down to 30 still. It might come down to 30. No, it might not. That might be if we're going to the far side. But here it used to put you onto. It used to take you across the points here for no reason and then back onto this line. Although I think that was actually altered. I think in the preservation update they sort of removed that so it didn't happen. They used to really randomly cross over the points. Which if we are. Oh, we are, aren't we? Yeah, we are. We're all good, though, so it's all good. I think it actually is 30, but yeah. But yeah, it, I'm pretty and then we'll go back to the other line in a second. No, no, maybe not this one. Maybe not, maybe not. Although, on some services, yeah, it used to move you over to this line, then straight back onto the other line, which was really quite weird. Or is it here it brings you on to? Okay, maybe not. I swear on one service or something like that, on a few of them, it used to sort of bring you across and straight back. Well, they might not have, yeah, because no, it would have brought you on to this line. 
Oh yeah, because we're going over here. Yeah, uh, but yeah, if you were coming onto this platform here, it would sort of bring you over and then bring you straight back across. Which was, yeah, bizarre. And there goes the northeast corridor, something cool about coming up this way. You can see that going off. And that is on Trainton World 2020, that is, that route. It's the only one we didn't come across to Trainton World 2. Oh, well, we do need to slow down. Well, the platform's really long, so we don't need to worry too much. The brakes are decent as well. Not as good as the M7, but they're still alright. Whoa, that's not happy. Wow. Alright. I got grumpy very quickly, didn't it? 15. There you go, don't worry. It's probably a red light, isn't it? This is 60 down to 15, I think that was in a very short amount of time. Luckily we're already going a bit slow. But yeah, here we are, this is Port... This is Woodside. Uh, we are, I think, 6, yeah, 6. Is there a 6 car stop marker? I can see something at the end of the platform, although I think that might be for the other side. Yeah, I think that's for the other side, isn't it? Right, let's uh, bring that to a stop. Here we are. It's a, it's a nice train though. I really do enjoy coming in the um, M3 and the M3A eh? on on the Harlem line. I think I prefer that one over this one. I don't know, it's tough. Well, yeah, that is coming everyone uh, for today's Train Sim World 2 video. Little driving the M3 again, celebrating their return to public service in real life. Uh, links can be found in the usual places to the Discord server, to the PayPal, and to the merch store. If you do want to help support the channel. Apart from that, thanks all for coming in, and I hope to see you next time. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys.